John, uh, how did it feel to get some uh, minutes in this practice game today? Really good. It's been a long four and a half months. So um, you can train as much as you want, work as hard as you can, or you want at training, but nothing, nothing compares to or can replicate um, you know, playing games. So, no, it's good, um, good minutes for me, good minutes in the tank, good little test, um, minutes in the bank. So hopefully I can just build on this now and, and, and improve. Talk us through that journey then from that injury to, yeah. to today. I mean, for, I mean, when I first did it, it was against Lincoln at home here. And um, yeah, we found out quite quickly I needed surgery, first and last surgery in my career. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a long journey. You know what I mean? It's just one where you just have to take each day as it comes because if you look forward too much and get a bit overwhelmed with the process, I was able to take you know, you know, quality time at home with my family. You know, the um, physio has been great with me here. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's the longest I've been out of football since I started playing as a little kid. So that was a big test. And you just have to just trust the process. So um, the rehab went well, a uh, couple setbacks and you come back again. So um, today was a big, a big um, breakthrough for me personally, to be fair, just to be out there and get minutes in the tank. So happy to be back. We're important then to focus on them sort of positives, having that quality time with the family as well to get you through it. Yeah, no, for sure. There's a lot of other things I, I was able to focus on, maybe stuff I put under the carpet because I'm focusing on my career. But um, mainly just being a uh, full-time dad, to be honest with you, that was uh, like a full season in itself, to be <laughs> fair. But no, um, no, it's good, it good that I could focus on other areas. And I think um, it makes you just appreciate being fit. Like it's, some of, obviously, some other players in our team have been out you know, for a long time. You just think, wow, like positive every single day and just makes you just take out to other people who've been through the same thing, you know. How was it facing up to needing surgery, you know, first time in your career? Rubbish, man. I was like, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want this, but you know, I spoke to the surgeon, he said, look, let it heal naturally um, and, you know, 70% chance of coming back to how you were before. Surgery would be 90, 95% chance. So when I asked him, he said, look, it'll be the same amount of recovery time with or without surgery. I thought, it's a no-brainer, you know, so... Um, no, it's, it's, it's people say it's part and parcel, it's nothing you want to you want to face. But the surgery went well. As a you know, really good uh, consultant, um, Professor Harris in Leeds. So it's not something you want. It's the last thing you want as a player. But when you get out of the way, it's like, okay, mind on recovery. So yeah, it was necessary for me. I, I imagine it's been fairly frustrating having to sit and watch on from the sidelines, given the situation as well. Yeah, really frustrating. I think it's been a season like none other, especially in my career. Just the ups and downs, surprises, the injuries. It's been um, almost feels like everything that could go against us has gone against us. And you want to be a part of that. Do you know what I mean? You want to contribute in some sort of way. Um, but I've just tried to be positive around the training ground and encourage the boys because, so in our squad, like everyone wants to be out of the position that we're in. But it is frustrating. But there's only so much you can do. So we've got all to play for in the remaining games. What have you made to, to Gary since he's come in as, as manager? I think I actually played against him in my career. To be fair, like obviously he's uh, had a great career and. It's really good to see him make the transition as a manager. Obviously, it's, it's a new experience for him, um, and you know he's, he's um, almost thrown into the deep end. But I feel like he's um, got the support of the boys, um, and he's got the boys, you know, getting getting some you know good results. So we're behind him and Frank as well. Um, good look, good team there. Obviously, with um, with Steve now in, in the mix. So um, I think together as a group, we can um, yeah hopefully be where we want to be at the end of the season, which is in this league. How are you feeling in yourself now at this stage? Um, well, right now after the game, I'm a bit yeah. tired after yeah. the game. But um, uh, in terms of my, my role in the team, I, you know, I want to help as much as I can. Um, obviously, I'm not match match fit yet, but days like today help you to get closer. So um, I do believe you've got more than enough quality and with the right results, right mentality. I think that we, you know, we'll we'll finish this this season strong. So I'm just ready to play my part.